Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're gonna be covering Sega Genesis and Sega 32X. We're gonna be using RetroArch to emulate both of these systems, but they will use different cores. The cores we're gonna be using are pre-configured within LaunchBox, so this is fairly easy to set up. Lately, there's been a lot of love for Nintendo with the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, the NES Classic Edition, and the Switch, so I figured it's time to give Sega some love. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to need are some Sega Genesis games. Now I have them on my desktop in a folder called Sega Genesis. We'll open it up. These are .md files. I always unzip my Sega Genesis and Sega 32X games and I definitely recommend doing so. They are .md after you unzip them. Sega 32X will be .32X. If you haven't already configured RetroArch for LaunchBox, Jason and Brad have created awesome tutorials. I'll leave a link down below so you can go check that out. Once you're done, come back here and we can finish this up. If you already have it set up, let's go ahead and get started. So I like placing my games in my LaunchBox directory under games. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. My LaunchBox directory is on my C drive users ETA Prime LaunchBox. I also have a games folder. We'll open it up. I'm just gonna place both of these right in here. Now they're easily accessible and portable. We'll back up one time because we need to start RetroArch. Now my RetroArch is located in my LaunchBox directory under emulators, RetroArch. And we're gonna start it up. We only need to do this once to download the two cores we're gonna be using. From here, scroll to online updater core updater, and we need to find the two cores. For Sega Genesis, we're going to be using Genesis Plus GX, so we'll download this core. For 32X, we're going to be using the core Pico Drive. When they're done extracting, we can exit RetroArch. So no BIOS is required for 32X or Sega Genesis. Let's start LaunchBox and get these games imported. So like I said at the beginning, the two cores we're going to be using are already pre-configured. So we'll go to Manage Emulators, RetroArch, Associated Platforms, and if we scroll down, we can see that Sega 32X is going to rely on the Pico Drive core that we downloaded. Sega Genesis is going to rely on the Genesis Plus GX core. Just make sure these are checked. Okay, close. It's time to import our games. We're going to start with Sega 32X. Tools, Import, ROM Files. From here, we need to import our game, so we'll click Next. I'm gonna add the full Sega 32X folder. LaunchBox will sort it out for us. It'll scan the folder and find the games inside of it. Add folder. Need to navigate to your LaunchBox directory. Games. Sega 32X. Click OK and Next. What platform are you importing games for? Sega 32X. Next. RetroArch should be pre-chosen, but if it's not, you can just drop down and choose RetroArch. Next. Use the files in their current location because we already put them in our LaunchBox directory. Would you like to download metadata for your games? Yes, we would. Make sure search for game information from LaunchBox Games Database is checked. You can also try Wikipedia, but I find that LaunchBox Games Database does an amazing job. Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Yes, we would. I leave everything checked, but if there's something you don't want in here, you can always uncheck it. Like, let's just say the back of the box. But I want them all, so I'll leave them all checked and click Next. If this is your first time importing games into LaunchBox, you might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. EMU Movies is free to use, but if you donate, you can download more videos, sound clips per day. It's definitely worth it. I also leave everything checked here. Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for Sega 32X. Next. Ready to import? Yes, we are. Here's the name of the game, the file location, and the extension, .32x. Click Finish. 
It's gonna search for the box art, metadata, download it for us. It might take a little while depending on how many games you're importing, so just sit back and relax. My 33 games were imported successfully. I'll click OK. Over in the left-hand column, we should now have a Sega 32X option. Now I like the carts, but we can also choose our image type and go to 3D boxes. I really love the 3D boxes. This is our Sega 32X collection here. I'm gonna start a game and it'll be Primal Rage. So I'll just double click, should launch RetroArch, go full screen. I have my FPS listed in the top left hand corner. I'll choose Talon. Rage. I used to love this game in the arcade. I never had it for 32X. Uh, I always played it in the arcade. Just something about it. Mortal Kombat with dinosaurs. I mean, you can't go wrong. Now it's time to import our Sega Genesis games. Tools, Import, ROM Files, Next, Add a Folder, we're going to find our Sega Genesis folder under Games, click OK and Next. Same thing here but we want to choose Sega Genesis. Next, RetroArch should be chosen, use the files in their current location, Search for information from the LaunchBox Games database. Next. We want to download box art. Yes. EMU movies. Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? No. So we'll click next. Here's the games I'm importing. The file location. And the extension. .md. Finish. I'm not importing many Sega Genesis games, so it should be pretty quick here. My games were imported, OK, left hand column, Sega Genesis. Image type, 3D boxes, and I'm going to go ahead and start Altered Beast. This is my favorite game for Sega. I grew up with this game. I still have the original cart that I had when I was younger. Double click. from your grave. And there we go. Got some Altered Beast action going within Genesis. Now I know a lot of you have played this game, at least heard of the game. If you haven't, definitely give it a try. Power up. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. I really appreciate you watching. You now have Sega Genesis and Sega 32X up and running within LaunchBox. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try my hardest to get back to you. Like I said, there are standalone emulators that work with Sega 32X and Sega Genesis, but I find that RetroArch is so easy to use. You don't need any extra emulators installed on your PC and they just work within RetroArch. If you guys could, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the LaunchBox YouTube channel because we got a lot of great content on the way. And like always, thanks for watching.